Welcome back to your channel my friends Today we are going to talk about hard drives But please before we start don't forget to like share and subscribe As most of you know there are two main types for hard drives the solid state drives which are the uh, SSD and the other type is the uh, hard disk drive or what we call the HDD the main difference between the HDD and the SSD is that the SSD use electronic chips in order to uh, store the data while the uh, HDD uh, uses the magnetic uh, sectors with the reading head in order to uh, read and store the data SSDs uh, come as uh, 2.5 inch hard drives with a SATA connector uh, their new type is uh, called uh, the NVMe it looks like a RAM slice and it gets plug in, uh, plugged into a special uh, slot uh, in the motherboard and it's, mu it's much faster than the original uh, SSD uh, SSDs usually used uh, for caching because they are much faster to read from them than the HDDs uh, as you may see here if I want to uh, make the cache configuration on this uh, storage I, it's required to have SSD if you can see here it's calling for SSD caching however uh, HDDs come with um, a different type uh, of connections like uh, SATA and SAS uh, they also come with uh, different sizes as well uh, 3.5 inch and 2.5 inch uh, size the 2.5 inch is the, the small hard disk like this one which is uh, uh, similar to the laptop hard disk and the 3.5 hard disk is the big one like this one which is similar to the desktop hard disk the choice of the uh, uh, of the size of the hard drive if it's 2.5 or 3.5 inch depends on the model of the server or the storage where you will install the uh, hard drive inside them uh, just to note that the 2.5 inch may be installed in the 3.5 inch tray as you may see here this is an empty tray uh, now the 2.5 may fit inside if i if i get it out of its tray and try to install it in here it can fit inside the uh, 3.5 inch tray uh, but uh, the opposite is not uh, true the 3.5 inch will not fit in the 2.5 inch uh, tray uh, of course because of the physical size as for the SATA and SAS drives uh, SATA hard drives come with high storage capacity that may reach uh, nowadays up to 12 terabyte uh, or maybe more but their speed uh, comes only with uh, f uh, 500 and uh, 5400 rpm uh, or maybe 700 and uh, 7200 rpm maximum for example this hard drive as you can see here it's 10 terabyte but if you follow its encrypt its uh, description you will find that it is uh, 700 7200 rpm only while the SAS drives they come with a low storage capacity which is goes up to uh, 900 uh, gigabytes only but the uh, uh, the speed of the SAS drives come much faster than the SAT drives as it uh, may reach uh, 10k or 15k uh, rpm as you may see this hard drive is 600 gigabyte but it's uh, 15k uh, hard uh, it's 15k uh, rpm uh, hard drive as you will see here the connectivity of both the sas and the sata i'll show you now the sata they look the same but the difference is that the sata as you may see here it, uh, the connector between the data and the power is split while in the sas drives it's not split they are they come uh, connected together without any uh, split in uh, the middle so basically when you try to install a sata drive inside a sas controller it will work the the, the drive will fit in but it will get damaged 
the soonest because it will not uh, it will try to keep up with the with the speed of the sas drives but it will not uh, be able to to do that because uh, as we said it's uh, 700 7000 and 1200 rpm only while the uh, the lowest sas drive will come with 10000 rpm which will uh, will make it very hard for the sata drives to keep up and thus it will get uh, damaged uh, soon enough uh, this is all uh, about the hard drives uh, please don't hes hesitate to uh, ask any question I hope this was good enough for you I am waiting for your comments my friends uh, and please don't forget to like share and subscribe for more videos to come thank you